so uh, as per yesterday's uh, discussion we people have discussed about uh, how exactly globalization of production investment technology is going to take place so basically uh, it has certain uh, advantages to get into that uh, um, globalization of uh, production technological advancements everything has its own advantages and those things we are going to make a list today yes it is going to uh, start uh, with the uh, uh, commencement of uh, our routine work where uh, regularly when we are going to start working with our domestic uh, entity truly speaking this is going to be one of the advantage if we are going to move towards a globalized area of approach probably into other countries it will be much easier for us uh, to move towards uh, that a uh, uh, global entity from this submissive entity to that global entity okay that is the first advantage what we are going to have second thing is about a uh, foreign capital inflow see uh, maybe in case if i'm going to think about uh, uh, acting as like a, a country which is developing probably in case if i'm going to uh, consider this open door policy yes i'm calling this is a, a lpg liberalization privatization and globalization as a open door policy huge amount of foreign inflows will get into our country okay so uh, that foreign inflow may go for supporting us in terms of uh, uh, getting up the growth probably uh, we may go for identifying a better amount of employment opportunities one thing technological advancements second thing maybe that capital inflow also support us in better amount of inflation okay that's going to be one of the agreeable point third thing is about a uh, globalization of our uh, transfer of technology see when we are going to start moving towards this kind of a uh, globalization of uh, technological advancements very much sure everyone will be so curious that uh, how technology is going to work out in this particular country we need to give a training to those number of employees we need to uh, run the show with uh, a better amount of a uh, uh, good activities maybe we need to give a better amount of salary to those employees do we need to conduct any kind of uh, training sessions uh, uh, through our own iti institutes a number of questions will be raised is yes, for all those things the answer is this advantage okay so when you are going to make a, a good amount of technological transfer very much sure that country is going to be benefited one who has received one who has accepted that globalization as a policy okay even uh, that market access will get enhanced from that particular country where after some so and so many years assume that uh, uh, maybe uh, all those uh, south korean companies have entered india even about japanese companies they have entered india technological advancements have taken place okay so very much sure that by today we people have got those accessibility have got the idea about those technological advancements correct that will help us maybe for the next decade period of the time we may start up our own entity and we are going to start moving towards some other developing countries where we can get established into the same mode of approach okay even about uh, the fifth point of uh, that faster economic growth and uh, uh, maybe evaluation of that alleviation of that poverty a number of questions will get grow so alleviation of that poverty is that easier task no maybe it is a bigger task it may not get complete within a day or two within a years or two years it may take decades together to alleviate that poverty to shift from uh, maybe uh, the below poverty line to the next level of that of uh, poverty the next level is about uh, um, one who is good into that middle average group of people somebody is going to shift towards a upper middle class family yes a number of shifts are going to take place the faster growth of economy which is going to be the contribution ultimately with the help of this uh, globalization 
Okay. Even uh, with respect to the concern of uh, uh, employment, arguments can be avoided. N number of countries, their common question is such like, uh, if we do have a, a fixed salary per month, then we are safe. Maybe assume that if I'm a farmer, probably uh, I'll regular uh, work can be continued very easily even people they are going to be accessible towards employment okay so probably a farmer maybe a person one who is doing his uh, small scale business everyone's question is that uh, i'm not having a fixed income but if this kind of businesses are going to get established in the large scale probably those many number of uh, people are going to get a fixed employment opportunity okay that's the major advantage into this particular scenario so the next thing is about a um, certain amount of uh, uh, disadvantages or risks involved the first thing risk involved is about uh, inequality of uh, income and wealth Again, question will get raised. So, do we are going to take any kind of risk by accepting globalization? Is a question, and the uh, answer is so sure that yes, we have made that and we are accepting those amount of risks. Probably with respect to that of uh, income and wealth as a perspective very much sure the question will be like a uh, uh, who are all going to be there in that uh, uh, management level ultimately the answer is the people who are from that particular country in the sense the company from where it is being established correct so they are going to make their own showcase they are going to occupy that top layers correct so inequality of uh, income and wealth people who are joining from their country will be paid higher salary whereas uh, your own country one who has made a open door policy and made a welcome them with a, a good amount of uh, a red carpet flowers correct so ultimately we are not able to get a good amount of inputs second thing is about uh, inflation sir whether inflation is good for the economy or not is a kind of question and a uh, true answer is about uh, inflation is good to any one of the economy inflation is good with that inflation only services sector will get grow okay so probably i can go for naming it as such like uh, uh, when you are going to start working with respect to the concern of uh, uh, one of the particular amount maybe you will be working for a fixed salary of uh, uh, 30000 per month assumption okay and uh, automatically uh, some 10% of your income is being increased in the next particular financial year very much sure uh, that much of increment of the salary will leads to increment in your expenditure also correct so when this kind of increment in the expenditure is going to take place starts with uh, auto drivers food vendors grocery vendors everyone's interest is going to get enhanced that they need to start charging something extra because your personal income is being enhanced and you are ready to make that much of increased expenditure 
that leads to hyperinflation that is one of the risk what we are ready to accept with this uh, globalization okay so third point is about uh, vulnerability into the uh, economic shocks what kind of external economic shocks shocks we are going to accept that's the biggest question and uh, true answer is about when these companies they are going to enter our country from some other countries in case if a, a small amount of changes are going to take place in their home country ultimately that results into our country also because they need to pay that corporate tax in their country because this is not our home country company that is being contributed by some other country through foreign direct investment one thing through production unit second thing through technological sharing third thing correct so whatever their country they are going to face the challenge it is going to be effectively affected over our country also fourth point threats to the global commons yes third point and fourth point are interlinked okay so whatever the economic shock we are going to face as like the same if a growth is going to take place in their country probably the similar amount of technological transfers are going to take place even in our country also because this company is not belongs to our country one who have come and established here they are not belongs to our country they are from some other country if their country growth technological advancements maybe a routine amount of uh, productivity whatever it is going to take place the same implication will be there in our country also okay the fifth point is about a uh, uh, reduction maybe we are going to do the compromise with respect to the concern of uh, our corporate tax safety laws probably we are going to dilute n number of aspects because we would like to contribute something to our economy and those contributors are not from our country that's the main important thing okay they are all from some other country where they would like to come to our country to make the implementation of many things okay even about uh, the next point is about trade imbalances so what kind of trade imbalance is going to take place in case if it is going to be one of the fdi foreign direct investment in uh, uh, our particular country then what kind of trade imbalance we are going to face that's a common question with uh, many of uh, the students truly speaking when we have been adjusted for something with a regular routine task maybe that particular trade will be stopped and new amount of entity is going to join maybe i can go for taking a, a farmers with respect to the concern of uh, now present uh, scenario with respect to uh, food crops is about organic crops okay india is the contributor of organic crops export across the globe and india is also the contributor for that organic crops up to 17% one seven okay so into this particular 17% of uh, uh, the crop development uh, uh, that export whatever we are making assume that uh, these farmers they are going to shift from uh, their routine to some other factory don't you think so that trade imbalance is going to take place you are identifying the facts and figures here okay so that to trade imbalance then about unemployment so what kind of unemployment here one of the person one who has established his entity into our country and he is creating employment opportunities but what about this particular person one who has joined right now 
to uh, this particular company what he was doing earlier what about that job correct so unemployment are going to get generated over there maybe i can go for naming it so clearly that nowadays farmers they are facing the challenge with respect to the number of uh, available farmers one who are ready to contribute their physical work maybe the wages what this farmer the wages this particular worker one who is working for the farm land in the rural area he used to get nearly around uh, 250 rupees or 300 rupees per day okay if he is going to become a construction employee he will get nearly around 450 to 500 per day correct so what his assumption or is what his thought process will be why can't i go to this urban city urban area and start earning that 450 or 500 per day instead of this 250 or 300 correct so there you have created unemployment in that rural area then who's going to be the worker for that farmland that's going to be the biggest question you're understanding this connectivity okay standardization that's going to be one of the biggest problems again to whom you are making use our employees only correct so you need to start giving a training for those many number of employees and that takes years together part of the time and again you need to start developing your own scenario of a regular routine work correct standardization is going to be a biggest question mark till that particular period of the time we are going to spend our time it is not to be called devote our time you are getting a track clearly that devoting the time in the sense something productivity is getting emerged for that okay spending the time in the sense lapse of time okay that is reality what it is going to be acting as like a risk of a standardization the last point is about a dominant global brands so when you are going to accept someone into our particular uh, entity or else our country it is very much sure that whether he is going to get back to his country within uh, um, five years ten years no he is going to establish here okay so our small 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 brands are going to be shuts down their entity otherwise they would to collaborate with these globalized brands one who is so strong one who is dominating he's going to survive in the market finally others it is a biggest question mark whether we are going to survive or not whether we are going to be retaining in that particular country or not correct these are all the biggest questions of uh, survival okay so finally certain essential conditions for globalizations are there when you are going to create these open door policies these are all the conditions you need to follow okay these are all the things only we people have discussed in advantages and disadvantages and uh, repeated points but these are all essential things when you are going to create globalization policies in the country first thing removal of quota and tariffs see quantitative restriction is to be called as quota then about uh, a tax to be collected is to be called as tariff correct so now you cannot make any kind of quantitative restrictions so don't you think so uh, they are going to exploit our resources utilization of resources something different exploitation of resources something different there is huge difference okay so utilization of resources to be called management but exploitation of resource 
is greediness. Correct? But here, you want to remove that quota. Quota in the sense that much of quantity restriction what you had before, now you have taken it back. Tariff. Whatever the tax you used to charge before, that much is being reduced reduction or else reduced correct second point is about uh, government rules and regulations that liberalization most of the time those regulations what we had cannot be implemented over these companies one who has entered through FDI third thing freedom to business and industry do whatever you want earn whatever you want okay so that much of liberty is being given even about uh, bureaucratic formalities cannot be executed see when bureaucracy in the sense your rules and regulations that has to get established but here So apart from this, even about uh, adequate infrastructure supposed to be provided to them, whatever they are expecting, correct? Even about uh, uh, the quality, even about customer service, price, number of competitors, they are going to get increased in the market. Small, 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 small vendors, they're going to shut down their enterprise. Even about uh, uh, public sector undertakings, Maybe autonomy is almost uh, as a striker uh, where giving priorities to these public sector undertakings to encourage employment opportunities. Yes, you are encouraging them for the employment opportunity, but the rest of things is almost as like where question mark with all the disadvantages what we have discussed. Okay, fine. So with this.